In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the expand and collapse buttons on your iMind map. This is a really useful feature that will allow you to collapse or expand certain branches, or all of your branches, so you can just focus on one section of a map. There are many uses for this feature. For example, you could use it to test yourself during revision. You can collapse your branches and then ask yourself a question from the map. Then you can reveal the answer by expanding the branch that has the answer contained on it. You can expand and collapse using the plus and minus buttons that will be on your iMind map. When you create a map, you will see that you have a minus button. If you click there, you will see it will be minimized or collapsed for you. If you then want to expand, once you've collapsed your branch, you will see that the plus button appears. Simply click there and your branches will be expanded for you. If you're unable to see these buttons, if you go to the View tab and then Show and Hide, you will see that you have a Collapse slash Expand section. Just make sure this is checked and the buttons will be shown for you. With Expand and Collapse, you have a lot of flexibility. So for example, if I wanted to, I could just collapse one single branch. Or, if I preferred, I could collapse the branches from a parent branch and all of my child branches would then be collapsed. To expand, again, I just click on the plus button. One other option you have is to expand and collapse all of the branches on your map. Again, if you navigate to the view section, if I here click on collapse, all of my branches will be collapsed so only my main branches are visible. And if I want to expand all of those branches again, I simply click on expand.